talk about multiplying fractions. And the first thing we want to show you is how to multiply a fraction with the whole number. And right now, we have 2 times 3 sevenths. And it's the same thing as saying 2 of 3 sevenths or 2 over 1 times 3 sevenths. You would write that as 2 times 3 over 1 times 7. And that is equal to, you know, 2 times 3 is 6. And 1 times 7 is 7. 6, 7. And 6, 7, is a, it, it doesn't reduce or simplify, so though, that'll be your answer. And if you want a picture or anything, you know, you can look at it. You have 3 sevens, and you have 3 shaded. And these 3 sevens, 2 of 3 sevens. And you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 6 shaded. And, you know, since you're multiplying by 1, you know, your denominator is just 7. So you keep your 7, you just bring it down. And so that's how it look on the picture. A visual concept of the ordeal. And that's how you multiply fractions and whole numbers. You know, you can just set it over one and just multiply straight across both sides. And very simple. And now we're going to talk about multiplying fractions to fractions, which is the same thing. You just have a fraction instead. And so I'm going to choose a fairly easy one, you know. What's on your mind? One half times three fifths. And like I said, you multiply straight across. You can rewrite that as one times three over two times five. Then you multiply straight across and you get. Three over ten, and that doesn't reduce either. And uh, you want a picture? That's it. You know, you can say one half one half times. Three fifths. So that's right. Three fifths. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So you got three of them shaped. But with this picture, it's kind of kind of hard to see it since it's fraction to fraction. But you have to be careful because that is that's one half, and that is three fifths. And with this one, you can you know you multiply. Remember your multiplication rules: one times three. So you have one. You have four shaded, but you only, you got to remember your your rules for multiplying one times any number. You're going to get that number again, so you're going to get. Three at the top, and with two times five, you know, straight across, then you're going to get ten. And that's how you multiply fractions with whole numbers and fraction to fraction.